Hey everyone, welcome back to my stream, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Yes, we're back, and it seems like it's been a long time, probably two weeks or so, um, since we've been together last. Um, yeah, I wound up getting a sinus cold, and it kind of put me out of commission for the better part of a week, so I just didn't really feel like doing anything. <clears throat> Still got a little bit of the sinuses going on, but I'm feeling much better now. So, what are we doing? Well, look at this guy right there. Well, we're doing the Heavy Arms Gundam um, by Bandai. It's the master grade. This guy right here. Okay, if that's a little too colorful and too much, well, we've got a picture on the back here. You get an idea of what he's going to look like. Kind of like that. If the camera will focus, there you go. That's what he's going to look like. But he's not going to be those colors. He's going to start off as those colors. As uh, last time we were together, we finished off the body. And um, then I went ahead and I did an arm and a leg. Got these assembled. <clears throat> but we're going to do the other arm today. Actually, I think the next step is the head. Yes. We finished the body, so the next step is the head. So we're going to do the head today. All right. <clears throat> okay. I just need to do this. So, uh, yes, the head is what we're going to start off with. So we need the B tree, the C, I, and E. So <clears throat> I have to get back into this. We got X, B, B, and E. Yes, that's what we need. B10. Okay. B10. Oh, I don't even have my... Uh, oh, yes, I'm back, Deception Man. <laughs> um, Got to have my nippers. And uh, I think I do want to change my glasses. <clears throat> Just because. It's a little easier to see up close. When you get my age, i got to take these ones off first. <laughs> Don't! Yeah. Okay. B10. B10. This little guy. This is his face. His little face shield. Okay. We need C14. C14. This is ABS. We don't want this one. This is E. Yeah. Um, C. Where is C? C14. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change the camera. See, I got into doing that again, changing the camera view for you guys, and here, I've, you know, I take a week off and I forgot all about it. I need I1, I I think is, which one is I? I think it's the clear pieces. Yes, there's only one clear piece. We're going to have to get our decals out too. So we have decals to put on this. There we go, and that's it for this one. And we need E23. Here's our E23. The inner workings of the head. There you go. Okay. So, we gotta get our decals, because it looks like we got two to put on here. That's gonna be the decals off of that little chrome sheet wherever that one went I got these two sheets where's my chrome sheet gone there it is this guy here so one is going to be going across here that's his eyes <clears throat> I'm going to change cameras for you here Okay, so 
this obviously goes across here. That's the uh, signature Gundam eye sticker. Of course, they're not supposed to be eyes or cameras, right? It's cameras.
decisions. Lost.
that goes in right in here, okay? Goes in like that, okay? But we're gonna try this whole weapon arm thing. We're gonna see where this takes us. So all these little pieces, they're gonna be put aside. <clears throat> so then we take this, and it's gotta go on here. And it fits, it should fit. Um, do I have this the right way around? There we go. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. Shoves in nice and tight in there. And you do get some rotation on it. You got that. Okay. And there's that. And now we take our upper body and we put it on here. Just like that. Just like that. And we take our head, and our head goes on here. Just like that. So it's got quite the funky arm going on here. And then we have this. We've got this head pretty good almost turn all the way around you can look down can't really look up but it can look down and of course remember his his boobs open up to reveal those so he's got quite a bit of armor quite a bit of weaponry going on just up in his upper torso <laughs> like that um, there you go so that's that so we're gonna leave it at that for tonight guys um, that's the arms and all of his weapons <laughs> well again he's still got more weapons to go but that is where we are for now. We got our color pages in the middle of the book. Let's see what they're doing because he's got a great big honking mini gun that goes on his left arm and that's why we're doing that. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. So next is going to be his waist. His waist section here. But next time I'll get on the leg, so that's going to be next. It's, I'll show you how the leg comes together. He's got his uh, more little, um, I'm guessing they're rocket propelled grenades in there. They're, uh, it's pretty cool. That's what I like that. So I want to touch a little bit on what I'm going to do for painting on this. Because once it's all together, you can be like, hey, there you go, he's done. But no, no, he's not. F that's on, assembling this guy is only going to be half of the job because I want to paint him. I think the reds and the orange and the yellow is ridiculous for a military um, unit. So I'm thinking I want to go with something more along the lines of 1970s, early 80s type U.S aircraft where you have the white and then maybe a medium gray kind of thing scheme going on i'll leave the the dark grays will be dark i'm going to make those like maybe a gunmetal color we'll do something like that and i'll leave the whites as white um i might not even bother painting the whites except for weathering but the reds and orange i think it's going to be maybe maybe two different tones of gray and we're going to go with that and that's my kind of vision with it anyway. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube, a channel called Duke's Models. And 
I watched his uh, series on the F4 Phantom by Tamiya and I was really impressed by it and now I want to build my own F4 Phantom. <laughs> Even though I did the 132nd scale a while back, I want to do a 148th scale and kind of go crazy with the weathering on it. Um, yeah, I've got lots of stuff planned up um, for, you know, coming up in the new year. Um, I've got a couple of F18s I want to build side by side and I got an F 15k that's the Korean F15 um, and I got a, S, a Su 35s flanker E I want to build and I've got a, a MiG-15 faggot <laughs> is it faggot is it fagot I don't know I don't know F-A-G-O-T I don't know how to pronounce it other than faggot um, anyway this is where we're going to leave it for tonight. And so we're going to get on doing the leg next time. And I want to thank you guys for coming out. I want to thank you guys for watching. All you guys who subscribe on my YouTube, thank you so much. That's really awesome. Really helps me out a lot. Speaking of YouTube, if you're watching there, you can look in the description below and I'll put links to my Twitch and my Instagram. And uh, if you like this stuff, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Um, with it being December 23rd, I'm going to wish you guys a Merry Christmas already. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one.